Hey everyone, Nick Brick here with a Cyberpunk build. The first gun V acquires in the single player story and a common weapon in Night City. Here is the Unity Pistol from Cyberpunk 2077. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment if you want to see more LEGO Cyberpunk builds. In Cyberpunk 2077, the Constitutional Arms Unity is a semi-automatic 45 caliber handgun and performs about how you would expect from a base level sidearm. As a street kid in my first playthrough, it was the first weapon V was given, but it's also common to find this weapon with different skins. The LEGO Unity pistol is 9 inches long and took about 5 days to design and build, mostly due to calibrating the function properly. The Unity Pistol calls back to some of my range time to design and build, something my friends in the LEGO community call Research Pews. The size of the Unity Pistol isn't specified in-game, so I base it on pistols we fired that were similar in some aspect, like the M1911 and the 5.7. The result is a bulky handgun that looks close to the size of the gun in-game, and this extra bulk provided plenty of internal space to pack it with functions. And I mean packed with almost everything short of firing. These functions include a moving trigger, moving spring-loaded slide with hammer, a slide lock, and a removable magazine with working mag release. The techniques I use for the slide, the trigger, and the mag release are new ones for my pistol builds, so I'll show you how I did them. Usually for pistol slides, I'd use a rubber band to reset them. This time, since there was room for an unobstructed guide rod, I spring-loaded it. The springs themselves come from the lower force Technic shock absorbers, since the coils are made the right size for Technic rods. Although there was a lot of room for the slide mechanisms, there wasn't much room for the trigger. This constraint made innovation necessary, so I came up with this trigger mechanism that fits in a 2x4 stud space. And as for the mag release, this is all there is to the button. The rod here that latches onto the mag had to be calibrated just right. The mag release button is reset with a rubber band inside the grip stretched across it. The mag design itself helps with this mechanism. The bullet on top is not just for show. The curved plates centering the bullet and the curved tile right here allow for smooth loading of the mag into the grip. The grip itself is completely hollow, so with the slide locked back, you can see straight through it. And with a magazine loaded, the bullet on top is visible. That covers the functions, but there are a few aesthetic details I want to show too. I like the look of pistols with mass around the barrel. Whether it's under barrel attachments, smart leg scopes if we're taking up Halo, or here just plain mass. Also, the Unity pistol looks kind of generic but it has this groove under the slide that I thought looked pretty cool. Now, to be honest, I'm disappointed with the grip a bit. It's not that I built something I don't like, it's just that I made this pretty sweet, smooth connection between the body and the grip just to have it covered up by the grip texturing. Well, now you know that's there. Lastly, let's look at the iron sights. I'm really proud of this rear aperture. It uses these robotic arm looking pieces that leave a gap when side by side like this, and they can receive cut flex tube. Other iron sights I've made have been passable, but these feel practical. And here's a banana for scale. This is a rather large and thick handgun, so hopefully this banana gives you a sense of scale. Overall, I loved working on the Unity pistol from Cyberpunk 2077 because it reminded me so much of designing the pistols for Ella and Twitch from Rainbow Six Siege. Densely packing functions into a realistic looking handgun is a ton of fun. 
Now, let's put a few fake After Effects rounds to the Unity pistol. After all, I prefer aesthetics over making a Lego gun shoot. Subscribe for more LEGO gaming builds. Also, like, comment, and share if you enjoyed the LEGO Unity Pistol from Cyberpunk 2077.